coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Phase 35 completes first stratospheric flight. UAS for STEM competition returns to AirVenture 2023. And 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium imminent. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Phase of 35 completes first stratospheric flight. Engineers have completed a successful stratospheric flight trial of BAE Systems' high-altitude pseudo-satellite uncrewed aerial system. Dubbed Phase 35, the UAS soared over a 24-hour period to an altitude of more than 66,000 feet MSL before landing safely. The flight testing campaign was undertaken in New Mexico and allowed engineers to assess the experimental solar electric drone's performance within the outer reaches of the Earth's atmosphere. The test flight occasioned a milestone in Phase 35's development, which has thus far spanned six years. Designed by BAE subsidiary Prismatic Limited to operate above most of the planet's weather and the entirety of its conventional air traffic, Phase 35 constitutes an alternative to traditional airborne and satellite systems and represents a potential persistent and stable platform for endeavors the likes of ultra-long endurance intelligence surveillance and recon and security missions. The vehicle's possible applications extend to the delivery of communications networks including 4G and 5G, disaster relief, maritime patrol, and border protection. Comprising primarily advanced composites and sporting a 115-foot wingspan, Phase 35 is powered during daylight hours by solar electric cells and photovoltaic arrays. Electrical energy derived of sunlight is stored in rechargeable batteries which power the UAS during periods of darkness. Coming up after the break, General Atomics UASs surpass 8 million flight hours. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. General Atomics UASs surpasses 8 million flight hours. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems announced that its family of unmanned aircraft systems, which includes the Predator, Reaper, Grey Eagle, Avenger, and MQ-9B Sky Guardian and Sea Guardian variants, has surpassed 8 million flight hours. All told, GAASI aircraft have completed north of 566,000 total missions in some 40 countries. The UK's Royal Air Force is slated to take delivery of a number of GAASI's new Protector RG Mark I model drones, the first three of which are currently undergoing integrated test, evaluation, and acceptance trials. Nova Sea Lunar Lander passes complete spacecraft test run. Intuitive Machines announced it had successfully conducted a test run of its Nova Sea Lunar Lander. The undertaking occasioned a significant technical achievement and evinced the company's progress towards the completion of its Lunar Lander. The complete spacecraft test run verified the Nova Sea Lander's flight software, avionics, liquid oxygen and liquid methane loading, high-pressure helium system performance, propulsion system functionality, and culminated in a hot firing of the Lander's main engine. Maiman Aerospace Speeder to be displayed at AirVenture 2023. Maiman Aerospace is the designer and manufacturer of a so-called air utility vehicle dubbed Speeder. Subject machine is a compact, high-speed vertical takeoff and landing aircraft at once suited to dual-use military and civilian special mission roles to include personal transportation, combat resupply, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, fire suppression, search and rescue, and emergency medical support. 
Maiman Aerospace can be seen at AFWorks booth 324. Launch window for second Virgin Galactic space flight announced. Virgin Galactic Holdings announced that the flight window for its Galactic 2 mission will open on August 10th. Subject mission, if launched, will be the company's seventh space flight, second commercial space flight, and third space flight in 2023. Galactic 2 is slated to convey three private passengers to space, thereby continuing the Virgin Galactic's hopeful cadence of space flights. Virgin Galactic cordially invites interested parties to participate virtually in the launch and witness firsthand the spectacle of spaceflight. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. UAS for STEM competition returns to AirVenture 2023. EAA AirVenture 2023 will see the return of the UAS for STEM competition for high school students. Organized by the Academy of Model Aeronautics, the event features groups of students ranging in age from 11 years to high school seniors who build unmanned aerial systems, which is to say drones, and pit such against those of rival teams in a variety of competitions. 2023's competition will comprise two divisions, Beginner and Advanced. Academy of Model Aeronautics Education Director Kyle Jarrett stated, quote, As the competition has evolved, we want to continue to challenge the competitors who return year after year. The Advanced Division will have teams build on skills from last year's competition, end quote. Teams competing in the Beginner Division will focus on the fundamentals of UAS programming and operation. Advanced teams, conversely, will be tasked with developing mechanisms by which their UAS entries will pick up and transport specified objects to designated locations. The competition will span July 24th through 26th and take place near the southwest corner of Camp Scholar on the AirVenture grounds. Winning teams will be recognized prior to Wednesday's night air show. Teams finishing in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd place in both divisions will receive Skydio products and scholarship awards funded by the AMA Foundation and Skydio. And after these messages, 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium imminent. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium imminent. Representatives of more than 40 of the world's leading electric aircraft developers will contribute their expertise and insight to the 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium. Hosted by the Vertical Flight Society, the event will be held in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, July 22nd and 23rd, the weekend prior to AirVenture 2023, where ANN's crew was already hard at work at our on-site HQ building. Organized by industry and government stakeholders in the electric aircraft and advanced air mobility sectors, the Electric Aircraft Symposium is the world's longest-running electric aviation technology conference. 2023's iteration of the Electric Aircraft Symposium will feature a discussion of the U.S. government's federal AAM interagency working group. 22 federal bureaucrats from the federal AAM interagency working group are to be there for the purposes of supporting the integration of AAM vehicles into the national airspace. The group is further tasked with ensuring the U.S. remains at the global aerospace industry's forefront. All told, 2023's EAS will see experts from across the electric aircraft and AAM industries participate in a total of 12 in-depth moderated panel discussions germane to topics the likes of community integration, electric aircraft development, personal and private AAM aircraft, propulsion, including hydrogen electric, regional air mobility, and the development of standards for the vetting and certification of electric and AAM aircraft. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.